Hello everyone, this is Scabcat242, and here's my review on the Figma Silent Hill 2 uh, nurse figure. So, this was a figure I have been wanting to get for a while ever since I've heard that Figma was making Silent Hill 2 figures, which also included Pyramid Head, and now that I have this, I'm very much pleased to have this in my collection. And uh, I've been a longtime fan of the Silent Hill game series, and this figure is just a welcome addition to my collection as a fan of that game and also a fan of the, um, I guess, survival horror games in general. And I think Figma did a nice job on the sculpt, the paint, accessories, and details. So, as you can see here, she comes with a, her display stand, which is common with, with most Figma figures. So, just boot that to the side. And as you can see here, she has one accessory in her hand, which is her knife. And it's nicely detailed. I really like the blood. And it looks like that's a cutting knife. So yeah, it got some nice blood details in, in that. And then her other accessory, she's got this metal pipe. And that's nicely detailed as well. It's got this nice kind of like this uh, corroded colors on there, which I really like. But I'm going to have mine displayed with the knife. And a neat little feature on this figure is actually her hat. It is removable. And you can actually either have it display like that or you can just turn it the other way and have it in that but I'm probably gonna have mine like this I prefer this uh, more like that and one neat little uh, feature on this figure is she has interchangeable heads so this is the one I prefer the most I just like the look of it but uh, she has this one and then also this one so all you have to do is just pop that off, take that, and then just put the hat back on, and there you go. So I think that was really cool. I wish they kind of maybe gave me a couple more hits, but I think this is nice. And then she also has different types of interchangeable hands. So you can see here there are ones for, for holding stuff, there's clenched fist ones, and there's open hands. So. And they're, and they're all on hinges, which is great, which I'll get into articulation in a bit. So, I just want to take a look at the figure more. So, yeah, it's nicely detailed. I really like that a lot. But one thing I was a bit concerned about was her skirt. If it was just one piece, but actually there's a split in between, so it is not going to hinder articulation at all. So, I think, so kudos to Figma on that. So, articulation. So, head turns like that. Uh, there is a hinge in the neck, and there's also another uh, hinge in below the neck, which I did not know until a while ago. Looks down that belt that much, looks up that much. Uh, ball, ball joints in the shoulders, arm moves about that. No bicep swivel. Oh, wait, oh, actually, take the back. There is. Wow, I didn't notice that. A uh, ball joint in the elbows can actually move far back. And I mentioned before the uh, wrist articulation with the uh, peg and the wrist. Uh, we got a nice upper uh, waist articulation. And she's got a really nice ab crunch. Goes that far back and can move forward about that much. And then there's a middle waist articulation. Ball joints in the legs. And the skirt does not hinder articulation. She can kick, but I don't think I'd be posting them like that. Uh, so I think yeah, double does I think yeah, double joints in the legs and they go far back. And we got really good ankle articulation, the pivot, and we have a hinge in the feet, which I don't really feel was necessary, but those do kind of help stand the figure sometimes. So with this figure I like it a lot, and now I was curious after I got this how she would look next to Pyramid Head. So let's do a side by side. So, I think they're pretty good scale. Um, Pyramid is pretty huge, since, let's take a look. Yeah, I think they're pretty good scale. Um, I really hope that Figma makes more Sound Hill figures will be great, but I really like this figure a lot. Um, this was definitely worth the, oh, I forgot how much I paid, I think I paid like 50 for this. But keep in mind, it is an import in most figures like Figma and SHR figure arts are going to be a little bit pricey, but for the detail or the detailed sculpt, uh, the accessories, the good articulation, I think for me it's definitely worth it and 
me being a Silent Hill fan, I definitely like this figure in my collection, and it's definitely going to my horror figure shelf. And overall, that's all I got to say, so hope you enjoyed watching, and, and stay tuned for more.